guys. Today we're going to talk about multiplying large numbers using the turtle head method. We've already discussed how to use it in expanded form and break the numbers apart and then distribute. Now we're going to talk about the turtle head method. So I have a problem here. And the problem is Miss Sue has 38 boxes of Kleenex. Each box of Kleenex has 75 tissues inside. How many tissues does Miss Sue have all together? Now what I did was I went ahead and I, I underlined these words right here, each, all together. They help me understand that I'm supposed to do multiplication to solve this problem. So the two numbers that I have are 38 and 75. Those are the two numbers that I want to multiply, 38 boxes with 75 in each. Now there's different strategies I could do 38 circles and draw 75 in each and that would take a really really long time and you would probably miscount because your number your answer your product is going to be in the thousands so it would take a lot of effort and time to draw those and count all those things up to the how how high the product is going to be So my first step that I want to do is line up the two numbers according to their place value, 38 and 75. It doesn't matter which one's on top, which one's on bottom, as long as you have them lined up where the ones line up and the tens line up. Because if this was a three digit, the hundreds would have to be over here with nothing underneath it. So make sure that your numbers line up according to their place value. Then you want to draw the turtle's head, which I did here already for us. Then your first step where you actually start multiplying is you're going to multiply it by the number in the neck, which is the 5. So I multiply the 5 by what's exactly on top of it first. So 5 times 8 is 40. Now I don't write my whole 40 down here. I have to carry my 4 above the 3 and then I bring down my 0. Now I'm going to do 5 times 3. Since I've already done 5 times 8, I'm going to go do 5 times 3. So 5 times 3 is 15, but then I have to add that 4. So 15 plus 4 is 19. Now I don't have another number to carry it over, so my whole 19 comes down here. This is essentially saying that 5 times 38 is 190, because I have not used the 7 yet. So 5 times 38 is 190. Next. I have three important steps I need to take care of. First one, check off any numbers that I've carried. I've carried this four, I need to check it off so I don't get confused and try to use it again. Number two, draw a collar. I'm going to draw a collar across this five because I'm not using the five anymore, I'm done with it. I'm not multiplying anything times that five, no more. And then the third most important step of all is to drop a turtle egg or lay in a turtle egg, drop a zero right underneath that 5, that number that you just drew a collar on, you want to drop a 0. Now it just so happens these two are zeros. That's not always going to be the case. This one here should definitely be a 0. And the reason for that is when I move over here to multiply by that 7, I'm not multiplying 7 times 38. I'm really multiplying 70 times 38 because that 7 represents 7 tens, which is 70, which is why I need a 0 to hold my place. Next, <coughs> you're going to multiply by the other number. So this has already been crossed out. I've already laid my egg, dropped my egg, and now I'm going to multiply by the 7. And I'm going to do 7 times the 8. Always go to the right corner first. 7 times 8, remember, 5, 6, 7, 8, 56 is 7 times 8. So 7 times 8 is 56. I have to carry my 5, bring down my 6. Now I have 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21, but then I have 5 there. So 21 plus 5 is 26. But I don't have another number to carry it over, so my whole 26 comes down here. Now, my last couple steps, after I multiply by that 7, now I need to add up the two partial products. These two numbers are going to get added together. Part of the product, part of the product. This is really telling me... And this one is telling me, that's what they're telling me. I, essentially, I multiplied 5 times 38 and then 70 times 38 in this whole process. Now I'm going to add them up. 0 plus 0 is 0. 
6 plus 9 is 15, so I have to carry a 1, bring down my 5. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8, and then my 2 comes down. I put my comma in 3 from the right hand side, 1, 2, 3. So my product is 2,850. So Miss Sue has 2,850 tissues in all. Okay. Now, tonight's homework, you won't be doing mostly two-digit by two-digit. You'll be doing two-digit by one-digit. And in this case, when you don't drop an, you don't drop an egg or a zero when your bottom number is only one digit. So this is 26 times 3. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry my 1. Bring down my 8. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus that 1 is 7. So 3 times 26 is 78. If I was to sit here and add 26 up, Three times, 18, 2, 4, 6, 7. I could also use expanded form. This is the same thing as 20 times 3 plus 6 times 3. Well, 6 times 3 is 18. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 0 is 60. 60 plus 18 is 78. They're all giving me the same answer. This is much quicker. It's a much faster method of multiplication. Now, when we, what we're going to start getting into is the two-digit by two-digit, like I showed you in my example. When you drop an egg or a zero, when you have a two-digit or bigger number on the bottom. So here I have 26 times 13. Remember, I said 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 2 is 3, 6. Excuse me. 6 times 3 is 18. Two, 3 times... 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7, so this is that 78, because this is telling me 26 times 3 is 78. Now I have to drop the 0 because I'm coming out to the 1. 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 2 is 2. So this is really, 260 is really saying 1, or excuse me, 26 times 10, because that 1 represents 1 tens, 1 10, which is 10. Add those up, 8 plus 0 is 8. 7 plus 6 is 13, carry a 1, 2 and 1 is 3. So this is my product here. There's a big difference. When it's a one digit on the bottom, I don't drop a 0. When it's two digits, I do because i got to move outside the neck and multiply by the other number, which is in the tens places. That's why I add a 0. All right, guys. Now I want you tonight at home, rewatch the video if you need to. However many times, you can go watch the other turtle head video, too, that I posted on there from YouTube. And I want you to try these problems at home. I have a one digit by two digit, another one digit by two digit, two digit by two digit, and two digit by two digit. I've already drawn the turtle heads here, and you can draw them for those problems. Solve them on a separate sheet of paper, and please bring them to class tomorrow so we can go over them. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a good night. Bye.